What is up, everybody? You're checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast, what the world is listening to. I'm your host, The Hot Commodity, and C, and today I'm bringing you our recap of Oily Elite Wrestling Dynamite from November 15th, 2023. AEW was live in Ontario, California, and to start the night, we have a special tag match to start. We have the FTW champion, Hook. And the AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy defend, taking on the team of Wheeler Yuta and John Moxley. We know Moxley and Cassidy will have a collision at full gear this Saturday for the international title. And this is a decent tag match with a lot of action. Orange Cassidy ends up hitting John Moxley with an orange punch, and Moxley sort of just takes it like willingly. The end comes after John hits a Death Rider to hook. And then Wheeler U- Yuta does the seat belt roll up and gets the pinfall victory for the Blackpool Combat Club here. After the match, John Moxley grabs a mic. Moxley says, Orange Cassidy, you're nothing. I'm going to grind you into dust and walk out international champion. And there's nothing you can do about it. Huge match later on at Full Gear. Excited to see what's going to take place. Next, we have the face-to-face interview between Swerve Strickland and Adam Page. Strickland has Prince Nada come out with him. Adam Page grabs the mic, and before that, Tony Schiavone tells them that if either one of them touch each other, then they won't be suspended until February, and they won't fight at full year. So, Page says, you're a worthless waste of a human life. Your dumbass got fired two years ago, and you told me you were the kind of man people think I am. You can't cut it. You're not the man you think you are. It's the reason your kids don't talk to you. You surround yourself around Yes Man. Nana does his funny, silly dance, and he makes a living off of your back. And he buys weed off of the high school student that you give him money for. I'm going to beat your ass and steal his weed. You are a child, and I work with kids and taught them lessons. You should have never came into my house. I will have you spend eternity in Swerve's house at the bottom of hell. And while we can't touch each other, there's nothing about me and Nana. And that's when Hangman Adam Page attacks Prince Nana. And then Swerve Strickland pulls him from the ring. And these two are going to get it on in a special Texas death match at full gear. I'm excited for that. Next, we see Roderick Strong in the Kingdom backstage talking to Adam Cole on a video monitor. Strong keeps telling Cole that the devil is MJF. Cole doesn't believe it and says that, honestly, Roderick Strong could be the devil. And he hangs up. We're still seeing this issue between Adam Cole and Roderick Strong. Next, we have a number one contenders match between Sky Blue and Red Velvet. The winner of this match will be added to the Chris Statlander julia Hart match for the TBS Championship. A lot of action here. The end comes after Sky nails a powerbomb slam and gets a three count. Sky Blue is now added to that TBS title match. Next, we see Mariah May gets to meet Tony Storm. She tells Tony she's her biggest fan willing to do anything for her. Samoa Joe defeats a jobber. After Joe says, I come from SoCal and I extend my offer of friendship, I am inevitable NGF. Let me be your partner. We then go to a good match next. It's the Young Bucks taking on Penta and Commander with Alex Abrahantes. A lot of high-flying action here. The end comes when Nick Jackson low blows both men, and then they Matt Jackson hits a juice effect to Commander, and then they all BTE trigger. And the Young Bucks get the win. Backstage, the Bucks say that they don't care about rules. The Bucks tell Omega their beef is with Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho confronts confronts them. Nick Jackson pushes Jericho. And it's that Young Bucks versus Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega at full gear. The Guns then defeat Jobbers. We then get our special street fight, our main event, Powerhouse Hobbs, Kanosuke Takesta. Brian Cage and Kyle Fletcher with Don Callis taking on Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, Kota Bushi, and Paul White. This match was insane in terms of of everything going on. There was a lot of spots. We saw a lot of people getting hurt. We saw Paul White get powerbombed onto a hood of a car outside. We saw chair shots. Definitely a match to check out. The end comes and Omega hits Brian Cage with a one-winged angel. And Don Kaus' family gets defeated here tonight. We then have AEW champion MJF come out. 
MJF says, it's become very apparent to me that no matter how hard I try to outrun my past, it's going to catch up with me. And every time I try to open myself up, those people get hurt. So what I like to say to the acclaimed is the same thing I said to Adam Cole. I'm sorry that you got hurt, and I hope you feel better. Ever since I could remember, all I wanted was to be a world champion, and I have spent every moment of my life trying to make that happen. I am proud to say that I have made it to the mountaintop. I see men climbing with only intention to shove me off the top, and I'm afraid I could lose everything I worked hard for in a blink of an eye, and I'm afraid I'm going to let you guys down. The old me would have tucked and ran, but I'm done letting the past dictate my future. Yeah, I'm afraid, but that doesn't mean I'm going to give up my spot at the top. Jay White, November 18th at Full Gear, you have a chance to take my spot, but I don't think you can. I don't think anyone can because my name is NJF and I am better than you and you know it. And a message to the man who stole my devil mask who hired those goons. I'm going to find out who you are and when I do, there will be hell to pay. Jay White comes out. Jay says, Max, you're going to make me sick, so just stop. Drop the act because you are embarrassing yourself. You are the villain. Always have been, always will be, and you're not fooling anyone. You've told us time and time again, you are the devil. You're not the hero, Max. You're not these people's hero. Max, should have know, Max, you should know better. You should know how quickly they will drop you because you mean nothing. You haven't changed. I know that you know that I'm speaking the truth right now, and I know that you know your days as the AEW World Champion are numbered. You know at full gear you will bleed with the switchblade. And if you're not down with that, I have two words for you. Get them. Bullet Club Gold jump into the ring. Max is able to fend off the guns until Juice Robinson hits MJF with a left-hand punch. And then switchblade hits MJF with a blade runner and then gets a pin three count. Samoa Joe watches on a monitor. And then it looks as if Samoa Joe wants to help MJF, but MJF doesn't want the help. We have a couple of more action coming your way. We got AEW Collision, and then we are off to AEW Full Gear. With that, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and wherever you get your podcasts. Stay safe and stay uncensored.